Hi friends, in this video we are going to talk about how to set up a simple single node Elasticsearch database in a Windows machine. If you don't know what Elasticsearch is or if you want to know some of the basic concepts of Elasticsearch, I have already made a video and a blog post of that and I will leave the link of the video in the description. Setting up a simple single node Elasticsearch instance in Windows can suffice in cases where you want to learn Elasticsearch or you don't have huge data that a simple Elasticsearch instance is sufficient for your analytics. In this video, we're going to install Elasticsearch in Windows. So the first step is to download Elasticsearch. To install Elasticsearch in Windows, you can download the zip file of Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch can be downloaded from elastic.co slash download slash Elasticsearch. So let's open this link. And here you can see download Elasticsearch. Choose the platform as Windows. And then you'll get the download button. Click on that. And you'll get a zip file that can be downloaded. All right, this is the zip file I've downloaded. Just Open this zip file and you'll have the Elasticsearch folder and in this folder the whole Elasticsearch database software will be present. So just copy this folder and place it in the C drive. So open your PC C drive and paste that folder in the C drive. So I have pasted the Elasticsearch folder here. So the folder is something like Elasticsearch-8.10.2. So this is the Elasticsearch database. So we have completed downloading the Elasticsearch and we have kept it in the C drive now. All right. Now you can run Elasticsearch database in your computer. If you want, you can run the Elasticsearch from the command line. Let's try to do that. So I'm going to go to the bin folder and I'm going to open a command prompt here. So I'm going to write CMD in the address bar. I open the command prompt in the C Elasticsearch bin folder. And now I'm going to type Elasticsearch.bat. And if you run Elasticsearch.bat, Elasticsearch will be initialized and the database will be started. You can see the Elasticsearch database is started already. So I'm just stopping the database and closing the command window now. Now the Elasticsearch is stopped. So you can see the drawback of running Elasticsearch from command line. If the command line is closed, Elasticsearch database will be stopped. So instead of running the database from the command line, you can run Elasticsearch as a Windows service. So for that, go to the Elasticsearch folder, open the bin folder and open the command prompt here type elasticsearch service dot bat and write space install. So elasticsearch service dot bat slash install will install the elasticsearch database as a windows background service. So if I just click enter, you can see the service has been installed. So now elasticsearch is installed as a windows service actually. You can even verify that. Let's go to the windows run and write services dot msc and if you see the services, just search for E, you got Elasticsearch database. Currently it's not running because we did not start the service. So Elasticsearch is installed as a Windows background service now. Now let's start the service. So I'm gonna write Elasticsearch service.bat space start. Now the Elasticsearch service is started. That means the Elasticsearch database is installed and started in your Windows machine. All right, we have downloaded, installed, and run the Elasticsearch service as a Windows service. Now to open Elasticsearch, you need the username and password of the Elastic user. So now let's set a desired password for the Elastic user of the Elasticsearch database. So for that, in the bin folder, open the command line like this, and then write Elasticsearch reset password dot bat, and write space minus i, that means in interactive mode, you are resetting the password for the user minus u elastic. So you are specifying that the username is elastic and you want an interactive password reset process. So now click enter and then it's asking whether you want to reset the password. Click yes and then enter the password for the user elastic and re-enter the password and the password is successfully reset for the elastic user. All right, we have downloaded Elasticsearch run the Elasticsearch as a Windows service and we have also reset the Elastic user password. So currently we have completed installing the Elasticsearch. Let's try to see whether it's running. So by default Elasticsearch runs on HTTPS at localhost port 9200. So let's go to this URL and check whether Elasticsearch is running. So click enter and then you are being asked with the username password prompt. So let's try to write the username as Elastic and the password which you have set right now. And that's it. Now you are able to see a JSON which shows the details of the Elasticsearch. You can see the Elasticsearch version installed is 8.10.2, the Lucene version and all the Elasticsearch details. 
So now it's confirmed that the Elasticsearch is installed and running as a Windows service. In fact, you can see open the run services.msc and open services.msc and here search for e Elasticsearch and the service is running as a Windows background service. And the startup tab is manual that means you have to manually start the service when the PC is restarted. So if you want to make it as automatic just double click this startup type manual and you can make it as automatic or automatic delayed start. So if you set automatic the Elasticsearch database will start when the PC is restarted automatically. Alright, we have successfully installed and ran the Elasticsearch database with the default settings. Let's try to see some common configuration options which we would like to do to the Elasticsearch database. The first configuration you might want to do is change the folder where the data of Elasticsearch is stored. By default, the data of the Elasticsearch database is stored in this data folder. But if you have a Windows machine where you have the C drive, D drive, E drive, so on. And suppose if you want to store the data in D drive, how can you do that? So the Elasticsearch database configuration can be done in the config folder of the Elasticsearch folder and you have something called Elasticsearch.yml. So let's open this YML file to configure Elasticsearch. I'm going to open this YML file with VS Code but you can even open it with Notepad. So I'm opening the Elasticsearch.yml to configure my Elasticsearch database settings. So in the Elasticsearch.yml file there are many useful settings. Now the setting we were talking about is to change the data folder of the Elasticsearch. So for that you can search path.data option here and you can uncomment this by just removing this hashtag and here you can mention the path of the folder where the data is to be stored. Suppose if you want to specify this folder only just copy this path and and in the inverted commas just mention the path of the data that's all. And after that just save the elasticsearch.yml file and you have to restart the elasticsearch service so let's go to the windows service now. Just right click and restart this Elasticsearch service. You can even do that with Elasticsearch service dot bat space stop and start but this is convenient so I am doing it like that. So here I got an error so obviously it would be the backslash so let's try to do the double backslash here because it might be interpreting it as a escape character. So let's try to save this and now let's try to restart Elasticsearch again and the Elasticsearch is restarted. So obviously while mentioning the path of the folder if there is a backslash keep a double backslash because it might be interpreted as a escape character. Alright I would like to explain one more scenario where you have C drive, D drive, E drive etc in your windows machine and the C drive is about to fill and you want to store the data in D drive now. So how would you do that? So suppose you have a D drive and you have a folder called elastic data. So just create an array here the data would be stored in this folder and also I would store the data in D elastic data. So this way you can give multiple folders to the Elasticsearch database. So this scenario is useful when your existing drive where the data is stored is getting filled and you want to use a new drive to store the data. Alright, let's go to the next common configuration which is setting the memory limit of the Elasticsearch Windows service. You know Elasticsearch is running as a Windows service and by default this Windows service is allocated only 1 GB of memory. So this can cause problems when you do some complex queries or if you do some parallel queries to the Elasticsearch Windows service. In that case you will get some error like memory limit exceeded and something like that. So to increase the memory limit of the Elasticsearch Windows service go to the Elasticsearch folder and open the bin folder and open a command prompt here and here type the command Elasticsearch service dot bat space manager and click enter and then you will get a window where you can configure the Elasticsearch service. So here in the Java tab you can set the memory pool. So here in the initial and maximum memory pool you can give memory something like 10 GB which is 10240 MB or something like that. I think you can give memory limit till 32 GB. So this is how you can configure the memory limit of the Elasticsearch Windows service. Alright, let's go to the next setting which is disabling HTTPS. By default Elasticsearch runs on HTTPS at localhost port 9200, right? So if you want to run it on HTTP, you can do that actually. So in the Elasticsearch folder, go to the config folder and there you have the Elasticsearch.yml file. Open the Elasticsearch.yml file where you can configure Elasticsearch settings. And here you can find the settings of xpac.security.http.sl. So here you can make enable as false and save the YML file and then restart your Elasticsearch service. And now your Elasticsearch should be listening on HTTP. 
So let's go to HTTP localhost 9200 and you're getting the login screen. Let's try to login with Elastic credentials and then we are able to see the message. So Elastic search is running on HTTP now, but obviously you should use it for internal trusted environments. By default, it's better to enable HTTPS. All right, let's go to the next option, which is restricting Elastic search access to remote connections. By default, Elasticsearch can take requests from anywhere. So you can restrict Elasticsearch access to only LAN or localhost. So let's try to see how we can do that. So in the Elasticsearch folder, open the config folder and open Elasticsearch.yml file. And in the Elasticsearch.yml file, search for the setting HTTP.host. So this is the HTTP.host setting. And here it's given 0.0.0. .0. That means Elasticsearch is listening on any possible IP. That means it can be localhost, or the internal LAN IP or the public IP address if the server is exposed to the public. So if you want to restrict the access of Elasticsearch to only the internal LAN, then you can replace the 0.0.0.0 to the internal LAN IP address. In a command prompt, I'm gonna write IP config and my IP before address is 192.168.0.41. So let's copy this and then you can paste it here. And now Elasticsearch will listen only on this IP address. That means external IP addresses can't reach Elasticsearch because the hostname would be the internal IP address only or else if you don't want Elasticsearch to be accessible in the internal LAN also you can just write HTTP host as 127.0.0.1 that means Elasticsearch is only accessible in localhost so this way you can restrict access to Elasticsearch database from remote connections and one more setting could be changing the Elasticsearch port by default Elasticsearch runs on port 9200 if you want to change the port 9200 maybe the port is being used by some other process we don't know so that can be done using Elasticsearch.yml file so go to the Elasticsearch folder open the config folder and edit the Elasticsearch.yml file and here in the Elasticsearch.yml file search for the setting port so you got HTTP.port 9200 so you can just uncomment this and change the port something to 9201 or whatever so you can change the Elasticsearch default port using HTTP.port setting in the Elasticsearch.yml file. So that's it guys. This is how you can set up a simple single node Elasticsearch instance in Windows. You can see I've created a blog post along with notes and links on how to install Elasticsearch in a Windows machine. I've also given you the links to the official documentation so that you can do further reading. Please open the Elasticsearch official documentation for installing Elasticsearch because with the changing Elasticsearch versions, maybe the installation process may change so always look at the official documentation also once to get your doubts clear or to know what are the installation options please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace